So I'm gone minimalism today. Gone minimalism. Going minimalism today. I've got the Seaside Connetta, the 70 year old folding. Okay, so this is a very quick little. Uh, video where I'm going to do a photo walk around the nearby village where I live. I've been cooped up indoors for far too long and I just need to get out and take some photos with a camera. So I'm gone minimalism today. Gone minimalism? Going minimalism today. I've got the Z-Sai Connetta, the 70 year old folding camera loaded with the roll of um, Ilford Delta 400. Um, I'm going to walk around the village of Tywardreth, which is a small village somewhere between Austell, Parr and Foy. Uh, it's got a lovely church, it's got some interesting buildings, a pub, and I'll just go around and find out what's here. I'll try not to photograph all the, uh, take all the images in the church, uh, despite the temptations of all those luscious gravestones and so on. I don't suppose the church itself will be open. Uh, far too foolish in this day and age. Anyway, so... That's rambling on enough. Let's get on, get out there and try and take a few images. It's it's a grey day, spitting with rain, but hey, -ho, I just need you to get out. OK, see you in a bit. So I've got my first subject. Uh, I'll show you in a second what it is. I've got the Z-Cycon out. I have a little bit of an issue with the meter, uh, which is from Reveny Labs. The uh, bottom battery cover fell off, followed by one of the batteries. Fortunately, I did manage to see it as it was happening and pick them up again. And not, not confidence inspiring, but anyway, I've metered and it's telling me uh, 120 seconds of a second at F8. So the nearest we've got on this thing is at F8 is 125th. This thing's pretty good at slow shutter speeds because, of course, there's virtually no um, shutter vibration. Um, it is scale focusing and it's saying well, I'm going to go for 18, probably about 20 feet. Actually, I'll use the red dot on this camera, which is indicative of kind of the hyperfocal distance. So it should give me a reasonable spread of focus. Now let's turn you around. And so we have this uh, tall stone cross, sort of Celtic figures inscribed on it. I don't think it's ancient Celtic, but it is very much in the Celtic style. And against the dark green of the uh, yew trees with the grey stones lined up behind and the um, gate should make for an interesting composition. Okay. Well, another equipment moment there when the shutter wouldn't fire, but it did eventually, so uh, fingers crossed. I did wind it on to the second, so I think the first exposure will be blank. Hey ho. Life wouldn't be life in photography without equipment failures. And for my next subject, this uh, kind of tiny little chapel. I don't know if a chapel or something to do with the burial grounds, um, but it was quite interesting. So I'll take that. And uh, I promise you the last one in the graveyard, well I had to take it. I'm sure it's not the George Best, but it's kind of still, still tells an interesting story of, of a George Best from Cardinum who died uh, 1859. And you notice his wife died 1892, so that was, she lived a long time after him. Yeah, I guess that was Victorian times. Okay, so I uh, opened up to f6.3, which is the widest aperture this camera has, and it's 1 25th of a second. It's still going to be slightly underexposed, but I think I'll be able to pull back the negative. Yes. 
uh, the next image of this charming old school butchers Charles Harris of Tywood Rath. I'll go on down and have a look at the uh, the Methodist chapel now. We're at, I think somewhere nearby. Okay. okay. So next subject, I think, is going to be this. What must have been the town well back in the day. There are two uh, grills there, and there's a stream just behind you. That may come through on the video. So this time, I think I'm going to try to put the camera on a tripod. He's getting right uh, gloomy now, so just benefit from uh, a bit of extra stability in pressing the shutter button. So I'll take that off there and put the Zeiss on, on the tripod and see if I can get an image um, of this. Okay. So there we are, we have the shot lined up and uh, I'm going to have a go at putting the shutter on B, so I'm going to close it down uh, from 6.3 to f11, something like that. Give it about a second, see if that comes out okay. So, very experimental. This one, two, three. See how that comes out. So roughly one second at f11. Okay, I think there might have been some camera movement actually. Didn't feel very secure. But still, let's see what it is. Yes, definitely the uh, town well there. And here we can see the village laid out in front of us. The uh, church bar next to that bungalow. My next shot, that uh, chapel window there. Don't know how well it will come out. Unfortunately, somebody's parking their car right in front of the chapel, so I couldn't take it. shot the new inn pub village pub very nice it is too sadly i'm not going to be going in there otherwise i'd probably never want to leave <sighs> shame we don't have one like this in uh, Tregrain where i live the village uh, pub, there's the village shop which is well stocked with basics. So view looking down the high street back towards the church. This house with its tiny window would make an interesting subject with the contrast between the blue of the door and the uh, colour of the stone. So let's go. Okay, so next subject is going to be this uh, Silver Jubilee uh, uh, plaque. I might put the camera back on the tripod for added stability. Um, yeah, it's all going to be a bit overexposed probably. I'll try and pull it back, keep processing, see how we get on. But, uh, yeah, another one for this village. 
walk about. Again, F11. So here we go. Final shot with the Seaside from Meta, slightly overwhelmed. Oh well, we get what we get. Shutter is cocked. We're at. We're going to go B. Shutter speed. That's all. Hit the mess. Let's get this compositioned. Do the cable release here. I'm going to go for a two-second exposure. Okay, here we go. One, two. All right, that's it. Okay. Hopefully, if this village photo walk thing is successful, there'll be a series of them. So there's quite a few little villages, currently villages in this area, which bear exploration yield some interesting photos on a camera similar to this one although next time I shall need to be a little bit more diligent about the operation of it because I'm sure there's going to be a few failures here. Alright, over and out now, see you in the next one.